next speaker for three minutes is Louise Bourse. Uh, thank you. Um, the resolution urges the adoption of a directive for the balanced representation of men and women on boards. Now, this is a piece of EU legislation that allows sanctions, such as the dissolution of a company, just because it hasn't succeeded in reaching the arbitrary target imposed by the European Union. You don't fight discrimination with discrimination. Bringing in quotas is demeaning. For women, the women who have worked hard and made it to the top of their professions. It shouldn't matter what gender you are, what your ethnic background or religion is, if you're the best qualified person for that job, you should get it. But with the instigation of these policies, people could look around the boardroom and question whether a colleague is the best person for the job or did they simply obtain their position because their gender ticked the right boxes on the EU checklist. Now, paragraph 56 calls for the EU Commission to create best practice models of sex and relationship education for young people. Paragraph 60 urges the Commission to implement sex education programmes in schools and ensure counselling and access to contra uh, contraception. It is outrageous, absolutely outrageous, that the EU seeks to interfere with member states' education systems, especially with regard to sex education. And to top things off, in the explanatory statement, you even say, who should be doing the housework? If I can quote directly from it, men will have to devote more time to the housework. Now, what kind of organisation interferes to this extent in the private lives of people, their marriages, their partnerships? It's up to adults in the privacy of their own homes to decide who does what. It's not the place of any government, and it certainly is not the place of EU bureaucrats to decide who does and doesn't do the dishes. In 1975... The UK voted to join a Europe of free trade and friendship, not a European Union of political control and social engineering. This is yet another reason to vote no in the upcoming UK referendum. Let us regain our freedom and independence from these meddling EU bureaucrats. Yeah.